Anyone free fall 40 seconds from 10,000 feet, you got 5,000 feet free fall. I've lived more in 40 seconds than in 50 years. My life wasn't like an, an average life that like you, you go to school, you, you go to high school, you finish your high school, you go to university, you do your career, you get a job, you get married, you have kids, you have your family. My life was always rough. So for me to say, in 50 years of life, I live more in a free fall in 40 seconds than in 50 years, it's big. My name is Luis. I'm from Uruguay, Piriapolis, South America. I had an accident, a bike accident, a big accident. I lost an arm. I had 18 exposed fractures, almost lost my leg. I, I really wanted to do skydiving. I feel like God's with me. This is a dream. It's as big as God for me. It's like everything to me. I tried to do it in Uruguay. I had done five tandems. Mm -hmm. I'd done three from a Setna from 10,000 feet, and I'd done two from a Hercules from 15,000 feet. In Uruguay, it's different to the whole world. In Uruguay, uh, the government invented a place to control skydivers that you must go for a sicko analysis. And I was waiting for my turn and they never called me. And one day I went to go with a tandem and I was speaking to a skydiver in Uruguay and he said, well, yeah, I know, I've been waiting for six months. And in that time I went to Argentina, it's the only tunnel in South America, in Argentina. So I learned how to fly. No one wanted to teach me. They said, you won't be able to fly, you won't be able to fly. A guy was listening over there, he said, hey, come here, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of you. So in the first two minutes of my flight, he let me go. I was flying. I flew 40 minutes. And well, on, the, on that day, I went for a tandem. The guy said to me, he's a skydiver. And he said, I had to wait for a year because before you do your, your uh, analysis, they make you uh, fill out a form where if you got to wear glasses or if you uh, if you got sugar in, in, in your blood or whatever. And he's put, he's asthmatic. And they made him wait six months for his sick analysis. And then you can start your AFF. Without that permission, it's not like it, that you go to a, a drop zone and you do your... So I said, well, I'm, I lost an arm. They're never gonna call me. With your license or my license, the, the, the USPA, USAP, Class A, you can go and jump in Uruguay. It's the only place in the world you gotta go for your psychoanalysis. Then you're, you're gonna be okay, and then you can go and jump. So I said, I gotta do something big because here, it's not gonna happen. And this is my dream and I'm gonna go to war. I don't care, I'm, I'm, I'm on first place, I'm gonna do it. The first challenge I had to face was a, a, big, um, a, a big mess up, not mine. Probably 50% of the people just throw the towel in there because it, it was like an impossible. Thursday night, so I'll be at the drop zone Friday morning. At what time do you get in? He said at eight, okay. So I went there at eight and when he saw me, He's like seeing a ghost. He's looking like this. I, I said to him, I'm Louis. He said, oh, I didn't know. What do you mean you didn't know? That you lost an arm. I told you and you said it's all right. My instructor came from Chicago and spoke to you in person. He said, yes, I got in touch with you. I spoke to you for three months. I told you, is it possible? Yeah, I bought the ticket, I'm here. Oh no, I didn't understand. I told you in Spanish and in English. So then I felt like killing. Basically, it's just everything. I didn't feel the tell in. Of course it affected me mm -hmm. for five minutes. No more. There's no time, I've got no time. Five minutes is more than enough. Mm -hmm. So I looked for another way and I didn't stop. And I got to jump today, four days later. So when you first got here, they basically told you that it's going to be impossible. Yeah. And what did you say to that? I was like shattered. My world collapsed. Uh, this is everything for me. I got a son. He knows. But you didn't give up? No. No. Was quitting even an option at this I've point? I've never given up. That's why I'm here. If I would have given up, I wouldn't be here with you. With your circumstances, do you believe it's possible for you to be a skydiver? Totally. That's what I'm here for. Okay, and where do you get that confidence from? Everything I've um, accomplished, I've, I've, uh, I had to get through. Life's not easy. This is my mission, and it's for me. Yeah. <laughs> I've been here for, I got here on Thursday night. Today is Sunday. Things have been just, uh, it started out so bad, and then 
I didn't give up and things just started falling into place. Not how it was planned, but because I didn't give up, I look for plan B, plan C, plan, I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna jump and look, well, I jumped today and, and enjoy, just enjoy life. That's what we're here for. We're not here for nothing else. Help people, enjoy life and grow, evolucionar. Life goes past and if you don't push yourself, you don't get nothing. The only thing that falls is a sky diver from the sky and rain. <laughs> These guys, real humble. I got six instructors on, on me and they would like tandem, tandem, tandem. He gave me a, a, a parachute that it was, the main parachute, it was a 280, a big parachute. And he, he, he put it in. He didn't have a left-handed parachute. So I, I done a static line. So we practiced the coming out of the Cessna. Everything's cool. I had one instructor on one side, one on the other side. Um, I had the cutaway and the emergency and the same pulling from here. And well, we practiced and I went up. They know I can fly. I can free fall. They know I can jump. I'm not, they, anyone can jump. You learn how to fly. They know, I, I know how to fly. The thing was that they don't know, and I don't know how to land. <laughs> When I went out, a guy went out first and he stepped on the platform, little platform, and, and he said, I, I, he said, can you just grab me here so I, otherwise I'm gonna push you and I'm not gonna be able to do the countdown, that's w what the plan is. So I got out by, by myself, the other guy is grabbing me as well. I'm already got the static line hooked up. Plan was um, up, down, go. And I went back, arched, the shoot came out. First I went for this side, I grabbed it, I brought it to my teeth, I beat it, I grabbed the other one, I brought both of them, I grabbed them both, right, so to break, I was breaking like I, like I was showing, yeah. I, I, my, I don't know nothing, I'm not, I, this guy's got thousands of jumps, but I go, this is the way I think I can do it. The first time I, I looked at the um, at altitude me meter was at 3,800 feet, I remembered. And I started looking at down, I got the airport. They're speaking to me on the radio, turn left. And because to turn, I got both toddlers, right? Yeah. So I got more range pulling this way, but it's when you pull this way on yours, you're turning left, yes. right? Yeah. I'm turning right. And when I turn this way, I got less range. I got less range and I'm, and I'm turning left. It's the other way. And they told me, well, turn, 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 blah, blah, blah. And, and I could see I was on top of the runway, perfect. But the ending was fine. <laughs> <laughs> then, Successful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I landed, uh, I put my, my feet first uh, and I like, did they radio you in? Or yeah, yeah, I got radio assistant. Okay. Yeah. Robert Scotty. Bye, guys. You're doing great. You just went in that direction. Perfect. Perfect.
the last question that I want to ask you is if you had any motivation or any words of advice for someone who is chasing a dream, what would you tell them? Don't give up. Don't give up. There's going to be a lot of rough times. It's normal to like say, wow, I won't be able to, but keep going. It will happen if you keep going. If you don't keep going, you're not going nowhere. If you keep going, it, it, the miracle will happen. It will happen. You gotta push. We're talking about when you're not, you're not hurting no one, you're not cheating no one, you're not uh, lying to no one. You, it's a good. It's. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Okay. It's your dream. You. It, it's a, a, a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Keep going. You'll get there. Later, uh, some earlier, maybe around the corner, maybe three clicks, you'll find a way. Uh, life will take you there. If you don't give up, you gotta keep going forward. Estoy con muchas ganas de saltar ya hace día. Llegó el momento. Faltan pocos minutos para cumplir un sueño. Así que bueno, voy a compartir esto con todos. Nos vemos en un rato. Chao.